So we're going to call Officer Magnus and Yago back out. It shows some of the great control that we have to have over our partners. These dogs are a lot of responsibility. They work, they work for a toy. And they have a great job that they do. And sometimes, every once in a while, somebody doesn't want to give up. Not very often, one time, I think, in the last 365 days, our dog has actually been used as a force option. So, of the hundreds of captures that we have, that's not very high. But that being said, even if uh, we are using our dog as a force option and somebody gives up, we still have to be able to call them back. So from time to time, bad guys will think, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Maybe I can get over that fence. Maybe I can't. And when they realize they can't get over the fence, when those one million teeth are flying at them, they decide to give up. So Yago's going to show the amount of control that he has to always listen to his dad. So our bad guy is going to take off running, and then he's going to decide, nah, not today. So Officer Magnus will send Yago, and then he'll decide for whatever reason it's not safe, for whatever reason, and tell Yago, not today. It's not a very intense look or anything, is it? But <laughs> he doesn't like his job at all either. But there are times that people don't want to give up, and we can use our dog as a force option. In the rare times that we do, we, we send them out there and they do a pretty impressive job at, at uh, ending the fight. So Yago's going to convince bad guy that he doesn't want to run. And if that looks like a freight train hitting you, that's a lot what it feels like as well. And Officer Magnus and Yago have been together so long, Yago really doesn't need Officer Magnus that much anymore because he just knows what the bad guys are going to do. So Officer Magnus isn't going to watch. He's just going to trust Yago to go out and do what he's supposed to do. So we'll see if bad guy gives up or not. One of our salty veterans. Thanks, Yago.